It was a quarter of dawn, all the who's still a bed, all the who's still a snooze, when he packed up his sled. Packed it up with their presents, their ribbons, their wrappings, their snoof and their fossils, their tringlers and trumpets. <laughs> thousand feet up, up the side of Mount Crumpet, he rode with his load to the tip-top to dump it. He was grinchily humming. They're finding out now that no Christmas is coming. They're just waking up. I know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open a minute or two. Then the Who's down in Whoville will all cry, Boo-Hoo. That's a noise, grinned the Grinch, that I simply must hear. He paused, and the Grinch put a hand to his ear. And he did hear a sound rising over the snow. He started in low, then it started to grow. sounded glad. Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, was singing without any presence at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or other, it came just the same. And the Grinch, with his Grinch feet, ice cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. He puzzled and puzzled till his puzzle of a saw. Then the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more. <laughs> 